Hey y'all, I am here to share um, how to do die cutting for beginners. And let me first off say, I am by no means an expert at this, but the reason I'm doing this video is that one of my subscribers asked me to. So I'm going to share the machine I use and some of the materials I use and that way she will be able to decide if she wants to do it too. Uh, excuse my mess. Okay, first off, first thing, I have a sidekick. It's a Sizzix sidekick. And it is a manual. It has this arm. And it has, this is a lock. But I do not have a, see there's a suction cup here. I do not have a su uh, surface in my house where that I can use the suction cup. I've tried my counter, I've tried my table. I think that my table has texture. So if you have a really smooth table, it, will, it might work for you, I don't know, but I've not been able to find a surface in my house that it works on. You know, I, didn't, I don't think I tried my entertainment center. It's wood might work there but anyway what i usually do is just kind of hold it like this to hold it down so this is what it looks like now there are many different sizes of this there's a big shot i think there's even a big shot plus or something there are different brands um if i can think of one offhand uh but there are different besides a Sizzix sidekick and there are bigger ones and there are ones where you just push a button and it does the work for you. But I just bought the cheapest thing that I could get on sale at the time just to try it out and see if I like it. And to be honest, I'm not crazy about it. <laughs> I don't really enjoy die cutting that much, but I'm gonna do this and uh, I wanted to do a few anyway, so I can add them into my Cupid's Arrow swap journal. Okay, now, when mine came with a few different dies, which I don't think I, I might have one that came with it, and it also had, uh, let's see, it had this embossing folder that came with it. It had a few little things. But what you're going to need with it, which may not be able to find anything. I thought I was prepared. But you're going to need something to poke and lift. And, well, we'll just use this. This came from the Dollar Tree, but usually they have the long ones with the hook. This one works just as good, though, I think. If not better, I use this for a lot of things. Okay, and you're gonna need some washi tape. So let me grab a whole washi tape because it just makes your life a whole lot easier. So you have these two plates. I'm not sure if that's the official name. And it comes with one of these, not those one of these also this is for your embossing folder and it's a little warped and I think you can avoid that by turning it over each way every time you use it but I didn't know that when I used it so I can probably start now and get it bent back in shape these are some plates that I bought extra because they're a little bit longer and so you can use more dies or a longer embossing folder. Now your opening is only two and a half inches wide. So you're gonna have to cut your paper so that it fits your plate and then it fits down here through the hole. Now, if you get too many dies on here and get too close to the edge, it's not going to cut too well. So be careful of that. Um, I wish I had one of those hooks handy. I know I had one. I don't know. They're not called hooks. But I did have one in here. But 
It's not here now, apparently. But anyway, I've cut several sheets of paper here into uh, two and a half inch strips. And I think I'm just gonna leave it on there for now. I think, let's see. I don't remember if these came with it. I kind of believe it did, but you turn this upside down so the smooth part is right here. And here, let's see, it fits just barely. But that's too many on there because there's too, it's too long, it won't take all those because it goes over my plate here. I don't know if it's called a plate, like I said. But that should be plenty of room. I'm gonna try two at a time. Now you can sometimes get them in there without your washi tape, but just to keep it from moving around so much. I'll go ahead and do like that. And then I'm just going to cover it. And you know what, I think I will just go ahead and cut some of this off on here. Well, I guess I should have a little pair of scissors out. Excuse my crusty old scissors, I need to clean them off. Okay, and then you just, you make a sandwich is what they call it. Put it in here and then what I do is, I usually do my hand like this to kind of, since I, my suction cups don't work or my suction cup. So this lock handle here doesn't do me much good. And I usually, which might not always be necessary, just run it back through backwards. Now the more intric intricate your dies are, the more that you're gonna need your tool here. These are pretty simple though, so they might be okay. Yeah, those just kind of pretty much, and they see you've got a little bit of embossing on the corner. There you go, easy peasy. Now let's try. Um. I have a heart here, so yes. I think this one came, it came with three or four dies and it came with um, one or two embossy fo embossing folders, I think just the one. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this heart on here and I have room to do another one if I want to. So I'm gonna do this smaller one. And let's see, do I have room for another one? Yeah, probably not. Well, let's do this one. It's a little more intricate. And you can see a little more how you have to work a little harder to get the paper out. You will need a pokey tool for sure of some kind. Make my sandwich. Put these over here. This is something I needed to do anyway, so it came at the perfect time. All right, I got it started and I'm holding it. And then I'm gonna run it back through. I don't think it was necessary because there was no, um, what, resistance. So that one just popped out of there but see there are some little places that you need to poke out so you just do it like this and I might should have ran it though 
offer me a little bit of resistance, but that ha sometimes happens. Maybe I should have ran it through again. Yeah, it should come out a little easier than that. So let's try it from this side. Yeah, it didn't cut all the way through on some of them. So I guess for this one, I will try it again. But here is the heart. It came out really nice. And let's try that one again. Get a bigger piece of paper here. try this one again and I'm going to try to run it through like two or three times and see if that did help or not. So I'm making my sandwich. Sounds weird, doesn't it? Making my sandwich. So if you have a small one like this, you always have to make sure that it's not too wide or too long because you can get them too long. Some of my embossing folders don't really want to work in here because they're too long. But I didn't spend much on them. I got them at Timu and Dollar Tree, and I think that's why I bought these, so they would work better. Okay, as you see, the heart popped out just fine. It's a simple one. And this one popped out too, but let's see. Uh, yeah, I think it's gonna, see, I'm just doing that one mostly with my finger. So yeah, that an intricate one needed a few more passes but look at how pretty it is now let's see let's do this uh let's see where did it go we have happy valentine's day i think or is that something else no i think it's happy valentine's day so i'm gonna go ahead and some of these word dies, the more intricate they are, the more you got to poke around on them. As in my experience. And now you can, if you want to, bring your tape around over your plate. It can help stabilize it. My, um, this piece of paper is a little wonky, so I'm going to do that. Right. Now, I think I am going to run this one through a couple of times because it is really intricate. Like I said, I'm no, by no means an expert. I have a tiny little machine. And I don't do it a whole lot because it's not my favorite thing to do, but it's still okay today. The best way to do it, I think, is just bring it out and do several things at once. So you, and, and I might, because I have so much stuff on my table here, I cannot leave it out so like a lot of people do. I have to put it away. So that's part of the problem. So I poked some of that out and see there's little holes that will help you get it out too on these more detailed dies. 
And then it came out, then this pull. And let's see. Oh, that one looks pretty. I didn't have trouble with that one at all. Nice. And shall we do a couple of more and then I'll show you some embossing. Let me see if I can find that embossing folder, a long one, and show you how. I don't think I pulled it out, but let me see if I can grab it really fast. Yeah, here we go. Now, some of these, I kind of rigged up these embossing folders. They're like to put part of the sandwich because uh, some of these did not want to, and I, it's been so long since I've done it, I don't remember exactly which ones was giving me the problem. But... I thought I had one that said, I love you, but uh, maybe it was this one I was thinking of. But I'm gonna and see if you had a big one, you could do like for cards and stuff, you could do some really nice embossing, but mine's too small for that. now. Let me see if this is one of the ones that needs that extra cardboard. Yeah, I believe it is because it's too long here. So I kind of rigged it up to make it work anyway is what I did. I don't remember if I needed both. I did this probably, I don't know, about a year ago. So it will work. You just got to kind of test it to see how much cardboard you need. Let's see if it worked. Can't see it very well, but it did work. So, um, maybe I will try that with this and see if it will help. I'm gonna put it on this end. And I am going to go ahead and put this here, see if that helps at all. Make my sandwich here. So I don't really remember how I did this. Oh wait. Let me try this. I do have this long plate. I don't know, it might be too thick. Yeah, I think it's gonna be too thick. Let's try it. Yeah, that doesn't want to work that way. So this one it is, because it's not as thick. With all this cardboard, it's not going to work. I'll show you this one more time, and then I'll show you how you do it embossing normally. The only reason I rigged this up is so, because I had these long ones, and I didn't have a plate long enough. And I didn't realize that when I bought them. Yeah, let's 
just not gonna go through with that plate on there. So let's just go ahead and try her again. Yeah, just have a little bit of give so it can move. Time, see if it came through any better. Yeah, that one's a little better. I just ran it through a few more times, so yeah, it looks a lot better. Okay, y'all. Um, I showed you a big mess earlier when it was when I was embossing. I was using the cardboard. Um that's the reason I bought these but you still since this is too short this part here well where'd it go oh this since that's too short you still see it's shorter than this part but I did get this so I could put it over this thinner piece of cardboard there's only two well, it's chipboard, actually. So I'm going to show you what I should have shown you earlier instead of going all the way around. But it took me a minute to remember, but I thought it would be interesting. So I don't know if the lady who asked me about die cutting is interested in embossing. If you are, I would get a bigger, I would get a big shot, a Sizzix big shot. It's a little bigger than that. Well, I think it's actually a lot bigger. I don't know exactly, but I think the width to put thing in, things in is six or eight inches. I'm not sure you'd have to check on, a, a, I don't know, you could go on the website or Amazon and it will tell you. But anyway, I still made my sandwich with this thinner cardboard, but I used this longer one so that it would cover up the length of this embossing folder and that way it will work now a lot better than what I was doing before so I'm just gonna run it through the time or two and show you So there you go that's a lot easier than what I was doing before and it hopefully will turn out better but let's take a look yes it's nice and embossed really well and what I would do is I would just trim see it even took, did the sides of the embossing folder but I would probably just trim that off anyway since it's just a small um, machine. Okay then, I hope I haven't confused you too much. But now let me show you my favorite embossing folder where I don't need this um, jerry-rigged cardboard. So, but you need this plate. This is for embossing. And this is the one that's my favorite. And I need a clean piece of paper here. One that's preferably not, preferably one color so you can see it well. So I just open it up. This is what it looks like inside. Just put a piece of paper in there. Oh, that's not quite wide enough, see? So let me see. I don't think I have any more plain ones, but uh, I'll just go ahead and use this that we already played with. So you can see how it works. So you're going to make your sandwich, put this smaller, thinner piece underneath. One of these on top. 
just gonna put this off so you can see better. one through a few times now this one I bought on Amazon they're not really easy to find for these little Sizzik sidekicks that I in my experience so this is what this one looked like it cut it out and embossed it I think it's so pretty now let me show you the one that came with it just so you get an idea. So I have this one here and didn't even notice it. Okay, just it's a little plastic one. And you just put it in there like that. Now this one might need a piece of washi tape. Because it looks like it's popping up here. adjust it here now this will cut um, cardstock and um, thinner paper not too thin though I think it can get jammed up in your dies but I don't know that this one will take much abuse like some of the bigger ones you might be able to cut some thin plastic or vellum or something like that all right i've got it taped on the top and the bottom all right let's see what this one looks like hmm. well that didn't offer i'm forgetting something i think that didn't offer it maybe i need to use both of these I'm not sure because I don't think that did anything. Like I said, I'm not an expert. Well, it's not going to go through with both of them. I guess I should read the instructions. I've got them here somewhere. Let's see if it embossed. I don't know that it did. No, well, it did. I didn't feel any resistance, but it did work. See? If that's what it looks like, the one that came with it, that might be pretty for a corner piece or a pocket or something like that. I'm going to try that again this one. I don't know. I don't know how it works if you can't feel any resistance at all, but who am I to say? Okay. I'm going to try to do it without the washi tape this time. See if it works. Alright. Just got to kind of get it, hold it until it gets in there. Yeah, I don't feel any resistance at all. Well, maybe that's what they mean by, sometimes I hear people talking about a shim. Yeah, it's going through with that. Or well, I thought it was, but it's not going to. No, it's not going to go all the way through. How weird. I guess I need a thinner shim. <laughs> but it did work. Anyway. So, there is my inexpert work. 
Um, let me I'll try to put a few more little things so you can see what it looks like on the, this is thinner paper. So is another one of those little doily like things and I'm gonna go ahead and do two of them and I think I will go ahead and washi tape these so that sometimes you can get by without the washi tape but if you find that your stuff keeps moving and sliding around it's best just to go ahead and use some Here we go. And the bigger these are, and the ones that are where you just press a button, they're so much more expensive. Really don't know if I'll ever be able to afford that, but maybe one day. There we go, but we still have a few things to punch out. Now, if it's just a simple die like this, I don't mind it so bad, but where it's those ones where you have to build, like there's a really cute one on Timu where you can make a gnome, but there's like, I don't know even how many pieces, 12 or 15 pieces, and I just am not into all that detail stuff. So I will let people with more patience deal with those. Let's see, I ripped that one. It doesn't work as well on the thinner paper so either that or i should have ran it through another time or two but that shows you a little bit of an example see that it's kind of cute on that printed paper now if you wanted to go and tear all that off around the edge And you can rescue it a little bit. Just clean that up where it broke. Just cut off the part that you don't want. I think it would look cute. I'm not gonna take the time to do that here, but let's try this one now. Now this one didn't pop out. So I'm gonna poke through some of those holes till it starts coming up. if it does this one's a little more stubborn I guess so I'm gonna come over here and whoo it flew across the table but it did work better it's thinner paper but it worked just fine on that one so the way I have trouble sometimes, and so I just have to try again. But there you have it. And if you have any more questions, the lady that asked me to, sh to demonstrate, um, put them in the description. And if I can, I will answer them. If not, um, there are probably lots of videos on YouTube who, of people who are way more professional than me that can teach you. But I will try my best to uh, help you if you have any more questions. But I hope that helps. 
and I will see y'all again soon. Bye now.